Hi there, my name's Simon Dyer. I'm one of the instructors here at Sunset House. Now, on to these pesky little lionfish. The lionfish were actually introduced into the wild by a hurricane. A Hurricane Andrew came through and ripped open one of the holding tanks in Florida. What this did was wash six of their specimens into the water. Now these guys hit the water thinking, oh wow, this is nice and warm, lots of food. So they started eating twice as much as they normally do. Also, they're breeding a lot more. They're dropping roughly about 15 to 30,000 eggs a month. Back in the Pacific, their home native land, they're dropping about 15 to 30,000 once a year. Now, the problem we have with these little guys here is none of the aquatic life here has seen them as a food source. At the moment, they're looking at divers and then looking at the lionfish as a food source. As we eradicate these lionfish and cull them, we feed them to the wildlife, hoping that the wildlife will eventually start to take them off the reef by themselves. The way that we eradicate the lionfish here is we use a lionfish spear. Now you do have to be certified to actually use this lionfish spear. There's two ways you can actually get certified. You can come here and do a course called the Invasive Lionfish Distinct Specialty Tracker. Okay, that allows you to go anywhere over the world that they're actually a pest and actually cull them. Or you can go to the Cayman Islands Department of Environment, the DOE, and you can actually get a license through those guys and they'll actually issue a spear. There's actually a couple ways we can actually catch the lionfish and eradicate those little guys. Now, the first way that they, used, they wanted us to start them off with is using some nets. Now, we'll go down there with the nets, catch them in these nets, put them into a bag, and then bring them up to the surface and discard of them that way. The second way is the lionfish spear. It's a little Hawaiian sling. It's only three prongs, nothing too dangerous, just so we can eradicate them off the reefs. <coughs> The lionfish, they eat four times their body weight morning and evening, so that's why we want to try and get these little guys off the reef. So, I'm going to give you guys some tips how to hunt and eradicate these little guys. Don't get me wrong, they're a beautiful fish to look at and take a photo of, but not for the other fish that get eaten into their bellies. Alright guys? So, with the tips on the lionfish, what you want to do is you want to have at least two or three people in the water when you're actually hunting the lionfish. What you want to do is the certified person will have the instrument that you're going to use to eradicate them. Also, you want one person spotting, looking out, making sure that you're not going to be having anything big and green coming up behind you, looking for those tasty little morsels. Alright guys? That's one big thing we've got to watch out for is our little fingertips while we're eradicating these guys, all right? So, the third person or the second person can also be the spotter for the lionfish, okay? So they'll spot the lionfish, they'll give you a bang on their tank, you come over and eradicate it. Now, good little tip also is you want to aim for their head. If you aim for their body, you can just pierce their body, they can wiggle off the spear and swim away. Now, we don't want that because they're a very smart fish. Once they actually learn what the spear is, every time they see a diver, they will bolt the other way when they see that yellow stick. So keep an eye on them. If you miss on the first shot, I suggest just leave the little guys be and then find them another day. Let them live for one more day. That's my motto. All right, guys? So when you aim for their head, what you want to do is you want to aim just behind the eyeball. That's where the brain is actually located. Now you're going to have to get a bit of power behind the spear just to get through that hard skull they actually have. It's very tough, alright guys? Also you want to be mindful of the 13 dorsal spines, the 2 pectoral and the 3 anal. They're a very high powerful toxin. Myself, I have actually been stung by them. It is a great deal of pain. Nobody would want to go through it. Trust me on that one, alright guys? So keep an eye out for the lionfish. Get those guys off our reef and have fun, safe diving practices. All right, guys, this is Simon Bean here at Sunset House in Grand Cayman. Thanks very much for your time. Have a great afternoon.